Lock that wrist down so it'll get weak. Come on. It won't. Damn. You've really got to be careful out there. And just knowing a few things will help so much. I love the martial arts, and uh, my children do it, and I encourage it. How do you win an unfair fight? Ah! Holy I did a little jujitsu growing up. I loved doing it whenever I was in town. So when we started sun training, I actually kind of knew a little bit. Knowing how to get up or hurt somebody while they're trying to assault you is just so important. You got to understand a little bit on how the body works and how to defend yourself. The first rule to fighting like a sweet girl is never let your attacker get the upper hand. Nate and Ava are going to demonstrate how to escape from a wrist grab. Okay guys, today we are gonna be going over the different variations of a wrist grab. We have father and daughter here. Father, can I have you grab daughter's hand? The first wrist grab we are gonna be doing, we are gonna be pulling towards our body to the weakest part, which is the thumb. When he grabs the hand, daughter is gonna pull towards her, pulling against the thumb. That's it, Ava, good job. The second wrist variation we will be doing is a cross body wrist grab. Father grabs the wrist across the body. Daughter immediately grabs father's wrist to control his hand and pulls down, going against the thumb, the weakest part of the hand. For the third wrist grab, we are gonna be doing a double-handed wrist grab. Father is gonna grab daughter's hand with both hands. Daughter is gonna go thumbs up and cable grip position, pulling towards the body. Real good, nice work. We all have fear, right, of being abducted or being attacked. That can happen anywhere. You see it all over the news every single day. Run! You're not like looking to hurt someone, but just to be able to stop somebody if you're in an unsafe situation and just have the confidence to know that you can do something if you're feeling unsafe. If I lived in fear, I wouldn't be where I am right now. And with that, I am so proud of myself. The second rule to fighting like a sweet girl is know your stance. Brandon and Zoe are going to demonstrate how to take a proper fight stance. Next, we are gonna be going over a fighting stance. Now, a fighting stance, we wanna have our feet shoulder width apart, a little bent, hands up, in a durable position to go forward. That's it, Zoe. I think Brandon, Daddy's looking a little terrified over there. I think that stance is on point. Hands up, elbows tucked in there. It's looking good. My character is, I mean, they mainly only show her as a boxer, but she is very skilled in mixed martial arts, and her approach to fighting big guys is uh, very strategic. I did an MMA kind of style fighting and training, but I also did a little bit of boxing and a little bit of wrestling. And I've used actually one of one of the little tricks that they taught me in a real life situation and it actually worked my training on the film was mostly based off of boxing you know i've trained in that trained in jiu-jitsu i feel like we try to develop a style with the stunt team that would be something that you the audience could believe that both of us are doing a lot of it is, has to deal with some jiu-jitsu judo you know grappling the third rule to fighting like a sweet girl is a sweet girl never provokes a negative encounter, but she certainly knows how to escape one. Jamie and Marlene are gonna demonstrate how to escape a bully choke. We are gonna be talking about how to get out of a choke, the bully choke. Father is going to grab around daughter's neck. Daughter is immediately gonna grab the pants of the father, pull them from under her while using her hips to drop them on the ground. Oh. <laughs> Melanie, don't hurt him too bad in there. Come on, get back up, do it again. You're all right, dust it off, man. <laughs> How's your back? <laughs> Who's the daddy now, man? What are you doing? I'm coming with you. No, you're not. I'm not leaving you. This isn't a debate. You can't do this without me. I am not putting you in danger, Ray. This conversation's over. Get out of the car. Telling any girl, no, you can't do this, it's going to make them want to do it more. I'll never want to be one of those dads that's like, you have to do martial arts, you have to do this, because they're never going to be interested in it. So if she finds it on her own, I'll support her. 
it's an honorable and scary, and but it's a necessary thing. For the people that, that love to fight, it's absolutely necessary. So I would, I'd support her and uh, be there right to hold her. And whether she wins or loses, I, you know, Papa will be there afterwards to kiss the boo-boos. <laughs> Getting really strong, like Lola had me pinned yesterday. She had me pinned and had my arm that couldn't work. I'm a little injured, but <laughs> that's my excuse. I'm a little injured. But she totally had me pinned. It was tickling me. She'll, she'll come up to me and she'll still throw punches. And I've taught her how to throw like front kicks and stuff like that. And we've actually gone over some stuff like if somebody really seriously were to ever bother you, I teach her this is what you're gonna go to, you know, cut and dry. The fourth rule to fighting like a sweet girl is keep your distance. Mike and Alina are going to demonstrate the push kick. Next, we are gonna be doing the push kick. Daughter is gonna be in fighting stance. Your back knee is gonna come up, followed by your toes, using your hips to push into the pad. Push your hip into it. That's it, nice. Nice work there. Push your dad into the fence. The fifth and final rule to fighting like a sweet girl is always find a way to get ahead. Donnie and Taya are going to demonstrate a hip toss from the headlock position. How to get out of a headlock. Father is going to grab around daughter's neck. Daughter is immediately gonna grab father's hands, creating space between the neck. Using her momentum, she's gonna pull him down with her hip landing on her knees. Hey, I'm gonna give you a brown belt in judo with that one right there. That's Olympic stuff right there. Donnie, you on the other hand, need some improvements, my friend. You always say, I have to fight harder. As long as we're together, we're still a family. Okay, so if you can't promise me that we'll be together, then I'm coming with you. Rachel has a goal, and she definitely knows how to defend herself, and she knows never to give up and to keep going. And I guess he taught her just when you think you're too exhausted, too tired, and you can't go on, that there's always something, there's always some, a little more left in you. If you're reaching across yourself. That's what I would want to really instill in my, in my daughter when she's old enough to understand that, that you've got to have something that's burning inside of you to fight for, whether it's fighting or whatever you, you, I don't care if it's being a veterinarian. As long as she finds something that, you know, she gets up every day and she knows she's got a goal. My dad has taught me how to basically live life with no regrets mainly. Do anything that I wanted to do and if I have a dream that I should go for it. He's just taught me a lot about being confident and not being ashamed of doing things that maybe I want to do that might be more not so girly. I can do it too and I can be good at it. He's taught me all the moves that I know now. He's done it for so long and he's willing to teach me what he's learned. And I think that's just really special. My favorite thing about my dad, I like his when he punch, it's very hard. My dad is a fighter and I'm a fighter too. Anyone but you, I could push away anyone.